Hey everyone. I will give everyone a few minutes to join. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am waiting on Sean really quick to let some dogs out and get them going. So uh, gives everyone a few minutes to pop in and welcome to our third, wow, third night of baking. That is crazy. Gotta love Sean. I, I just throw him these ideas and say, hey, we're going to do our baking live this year. What do you think? And he's like, um, I'm not sure about that. He actually said today, he was like, so we're running out of time. It's getting close to, to Christmas. Are we still doing this live? And I was like, we are. So he rolls with it. He rolls. So welcome, everyone. And I'm waiting for some people to join here. Huh, nobody is watching. I wonder where everyone is. The internet can, it says the internet can totally see me, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, there we go. We got some people coming in. Welcome. Everyone's getting their alerts now. It's just taking a little bit longer than it usually does, which is completely fine. And tonight, uh, for our uh, third night, we are going to be doing Almond Roca finally. If you are here, let me know because I am not getting anyone showing they are here. So maybe I did something wrong. Hello, welcome. Hmm. Hey, Kim, how's it going? So maybe we just are going to go and go with what we have. So there are some people coming in. Hey, guys. All right. So tonight is our third night in baking. Today we are doing almond roca. For those of you who are joined us yesterday, we made our CC bars. And just to give you a final result, here is the CC bars. Look at that. Mm. So these are kind of a chocolate caramel brownie, really soft and moist. And you can see kind of the gooeyness that transpires they're really good they're one of my favorites so anyways uh that is that and i really hope i'm broadcasting this right because we only have three viewers sean three, three? yeah i'm wondering if i'm doing something wrong uh. yeah i don't know either i don't know so anyways uh let's go ahead and get going and people can watch the replay which is perfect uh, tonight, once again, we are going to be doing almond roca. We make a lot of almond roca, probably 13 batches. I'll quickly tell you the ingredients and we'll get going. If you have any questions or comments or anything, let us know. And we hope you enjoy uh, all of our live videos. But for this recipe, it's pretty basic. You need salted butter. You will need sugar. Hershey bars and almonds and galore water and that's it and so it's pretty simple and we'll walk you through all the steps of giving you everything that you need down below in the description plus i have uh all of the instructions and the big trick on this is we don't use a candy thermometer a lot of people do on their almond roca uh, my mom's trick was making sure it matched the color of a brown Paper, paper bag. Uh, grocery bag, uh, which I don't know if I have. Sean doesn't use that trick anymore because he kind of knows when to pull it. But let's go ahead and get started. So here is our setup. All right. So for those of you who haven't been watching our videos, uh, we will be using once again our, um, what is this called again? I always forget what it's called. It's called the uh, induction stove top. Okay, well, why don't you get that stuff ready, and I will get this ready. How about that? How about that? There must be something going on, because we do not is, have... Are you on the right um, site? <laughs> I'm on YouTube, so I don't know. Yours? Yeah, of course I'm on mine. It says Ken's creation, so... Uh, I mean, it's fine. We have we have peeps here. It's just maybe there's uh, something live going on. It is getting close to Christmas. Uh, so Sean will start with this and walk you kind of through the instructions. So we start off with a nice pan. I happen to have a nonstick here, and I'm going to basically start uh, melting my butter and the water all at one point. 
and stir, stir, stir until it changes color. So here we go. Uh, oop, hose of it's plugged in. Yay. Here we go. So we start off with one quarter cup of water and then a half a pound of butter, which basically is two sticks. And we'll get this open here. I don't know where everyone is, which is fine. I mean, we have a special elite few people, but yeah. um, I don't know where everyone is. Maybe I'll go promote that we're on while Sean's doing this. Right. Like I said, we don't need to. I mean, we're good. It's just it would be nice to have, you know. Tons of people watching at once. Sean doesn't feel loved, basically. No, I guess not. Sean does not feel the love. So, Sean, what are you doing? So I've placed my water, my butter, now is my sugar, which is going to be how much? Uh, you need a half a cup of butter. Done that. Fourth a cup of That's water a a and pound. a cup of sugar. Oh, half, half a pound. pound. I apologize. I one cup of sugar. My dry measuring cup. Baby in. One cup. And since I'm using a non-stick uh, pan, I like to use my silicone spatula. If you guys are in the comments, I'll be right back. I'm just posting this to different places, let people. I know some people don't get our live alerts, and I don't know why that is. That's very interesting. So, um, so the interesting thing is, is at this point, is just like watching paint dry. We're just gonna let this boil until we get to that. Once it boils, then we'll get to a point to the color, like we said. I even do even with the a smell too because you can tell just before it uh, gets to the point of burning which is obviously too far but uh, you just get to I, that one I will point say on good. Almond Roca though uh, it is one of those things that once you kind of it's a, a learned art once you learn the art you got it down my brother still he can do it I think it's just sometimes it doesn't turn out where we've been lucky that it it pretty much turns out all the time there for us one time we had problems we but that was i think the butter we bought a butter and even though it said pure real butter we think they cheated and lied and there was probably some vegetable oil vegetable in it vegetable oil because there was an oil slick on the butter and you definitely don't want that you want real cream butter nothing but the best not to say you have to go out and buy you know challenge or tillamook or any of those high-end brands you know this is just the uh, Fred Meyer. We've always used it. We've also used... This uh, is the Walmart. Oh, yeah, it is a Fred Meyer's. Our, we've used that, that in Walmart, Walmart, too. Walmart's is good. The one that we use as a, as a store, local, local store, store. Not good. Uh, called Rosars. Uh, but, yeah, bad. Hey, hey Angela. So, basically, we're just going to sit and chat while this gets to the start of a boil here. Do you have it on medium heat, or what do you do I to... I have it hot, hot, hot. Boiling. And today it's no snowing, no precipitation, there so it's a good none. day for Almond Roca. As you can see, here comes the uh, boiling of points. And the big thing is that you just want to kind of keep stirring. The nice thing about using this induction heat instead of the gas stove top is that this is obviously throwing off a lot of heat. So if I'm like this, it gets hot, and you can't lean this against that because all that heat will melt this. This has no heat. See, I can put my hands right on it. I mean, I can feel the heat from the pan, but that's it. So, all right, here we go. So while he is doing that, we just grab um, a cookie tray. Cookie sheet. Or cookie sheet. I'll dry it off here. And the cookie sheet really essentially is what's going to keep the almond rook in the pan. And what we'll do is you got to be kind of quick when you do it because... We don't have a lot of time to melt the chocolate, so... Yeah, typically it calls for the big giant Hershey bars, but every time we go it's always out. So we just kind of substitute the, the smaller ones, but it's chocolate's chocolate regardless. 
So while he is doing that, I'm usually putting the tin foil in. And obviously whatever cookie pan you have, you want to try to get it with as much. The dull side is the non-stick side, it says. Oh. So we're going to try this new non-stick to see what it's like. Because you do not want to use cooking spray. Yeah, we tried that and just... Not good. Kind of makes it too... I don't know, it doesn't really damage it. it just, Ooh, no fudge. Uh, so this, I will say, is my mom was known for making it. So it was her aunt's recipe. Uh, her name was Selma. And... Selma. Uh, I said Thelma. You said Selma. No, I didn't. I said Thelma. <laughs> I know my mom's aunt name, I Sean. I just thought I heard Selma. Well, get your ears checked. So, um, the uh, this was her thing and number one thing requested. She kind of made a lot, but also in a way, uh, it's kind of expensive. Almonds are expensive, and you have oh, to buy a lot of almonds. Butter is expensive. That bag of almonds was what 10 bucks yeah bucks? um and so it, it is expensive and she was on a limited budget but as soon as she taught me how to do it i taught sean how to do it because he really wanted to learn how to do it and now i don't even do it anymore I love he loves Roca. i'm not a big Roca fan it's good uh it's not bad it's just not my favorite so as you can see this is just a nice creamy uh light yellow because of the butter and the water and that's it and then all of a sudden it gets to that point as it gets hotter and hotter that this will start turning. Well, and it's really important to note that you have to stir this at all times. You cannot leave it. Yeah. I stopped for a second just to see how things are, but that's fine. That's all as long and as And until you have a good uh, feeling and smell of it, I recommend doing the brown paper bag method. So essentially it's this color here. I can tear this off. So it's that, that color of when you go shopping, that brown paper bag. And she, my mom would actually go to the grocery store, buy, get it, get the brown paper bag. She would put it off to the side, and then she does the, the drop method, which is basically, you know, she would drop a little piece. And as long as it matched that color, so essentially, as long as it matches that color, she would be, oh, we're good. That means you didn't burn it. So that's literally how I was trained. Uh, Sean doesn't do that anymore because he has a pretty good feel when to pull it, but this is probably the most tedious part is we do, I think this time we're doing 13 batches and literally just standing here and stirring it and stirring it and stirring it. And which, what's crazy is when it goes to turn its color, it goes quick. So it's like stays this color forever and then all of a sudden it starts, it starts turning and getting thicker and that's when you need to pull it. Now, so basically, we're caramelizing the sugar to the brown caramelization colors is what we're achieving. Yeah. And um, my big thing is I, uh, uh, I'm a firm believer in making sure there's no moisture in there. It will make it more chewy and you want it more crunchy. So this is kind of the boring part, but you guys can see make, I'm, I'm telling you, when it makes the switch, it makes the switch. Yep. Do we have a, a chop mess ready to go? I have everything ready to go, Shawnee. Measured? Yep. Oh, no, not measured, but I'll get that going. So you're going to need a cup of chopped almonds. And then um, if you have the big Hershey bar, it's a big Hershey bar. Uh, one, you'll split it in half and do it on half each side. Since we didn't get those because... Uh, they're always out. Mm -hmm. Four, third, half. Where's our cup? I, I just can... used it. I just used it. Where is it? Oh, it's in the sugar. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. That's why we need two of them. Oh, yep. Do we have a cup? Another cup? Um, it's the, being used for the dog food. Oh, Sean. Okay. That's not good. This is the boring part, like we said. Stir, 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 but you can start seeing it changes its it, it changes its look. It's almost like it's uh, I don't know, not rubbery, but you can just see that it's a it's not as liquidy. It's starting to. Form. It always reminds me of kind of like uh, when you're cooking eggs, when it gets t to that point where it goes from scramble to more of a firm egg. That's what it reminds me of. It kind of gets foamy on top. Um, and you'll start getting it where it's not liquid. It's more like you, you're moving the entire process. So um, 
I know it is a quiet group. Normally we have about 150 to 200 people and we only have 48 in here right now, which is never bad. It's just, uh, it is quiet. Normally when we have that many people, we have tons of comments. Um, but, and yes, this is something I've, we have done this ever since my mom passed away. Uh, she always had Christmas Eve at her house. And she did all the Christmas baking. And three years prior to her dying, I asked to take over Christmas. And she allowed me to. And part of that, though, was if you take over Christmas, you will also take over the baking and make that for the event. And so I agreed to do that. So she actually, uh, the last few years she was alive, came over and taught me how to do all of her baking items. There's a few things I don't make um, just because I just... Like she made sprit cookies with jello in them. They're really good. I just am not a cookie person, but um, she uh, taught me how to do everything. So it's, when she passed away, it was kind of one of those things where I said, well, I might as well uh, continue this for her. So I know I'm telling you guys once this. I know. I don't know why you two didn't send a notice. Everyone's telling me that I'm getting that now. Um, so maybe there's something going on with YouTube. Because uh, usually I even get an alert on my phone that says Ken's Creations is live and I didn't get, I didn't get one anything. So something's going on with the alerts. So you guys will see it turn for sure, the color. Uh, you will see it go from this. All of a sudden it will just go to this, this, this color, this kind of paper bag color. I know, Sean, it is interesting because Sean, they said they want smell of vision Sean actually pulls it based on the smell, and it's weird. I don't want to say it burns, but right when it starts to burn, you're going to smell it, and that's when he pulls it. The yellow's starting to go away, and now we're starting to see a slight... Yes, thing. my mom passed away when she was 54, so she was very young. She, unfortunately, she got diagnosed with lung cancer and... Uh, she was diagnosed in January and died in February, so it was very quick. And you can already see the it's now having a. Oh, you can age. smell it. Mmm. So it's starting to turn now. You're gonna see it go. So you can kind of see it's getting a. Uh, Instead of that yellowy color, it's getting more of a, 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 I would say, kind of a... This is kind of a creamy brown. But it's not this brown yet. No. Okay. You want it to be this brown. Wow, you can really smell that. Man, it smells like Christmas. It's for sure smelling like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like... Christmas. Uh, you two are awesome together. Uh, I'm more awesome. Just saying. <laughs> uh, it is way too young to pass away. I will say, though, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Ooh, we're getting close. Mm -hmm. So you know that you have a good butter because if you have too much... Uh, oil on top of this and you don't see the the almond roca essentially that means there's too much oil in it can you hand me uh, get my spatula, where is that my offset spatula where is it it's in there. Uh, no, no. Oh, there it is all right we are super close i think we're almost there mm -hmm. so you can see how much of a brown it already is Wow, you can really smell that. Yeah, it's time. It, wait, wait, you gotta put the oh, almonds in. I know. Oh, let me know when you're ready. I know. So you just take your almonds and. Mix them in. Take that off. And then we're going to spread. Uh, a... huh? Spread like so. And then what I do is I take an offset spatula. What's an offset? I don't understand. This is I offset because it's not straight, it's offset. And this is how I spread it around. And, and the don't. weird thing is, is that butter looks like really bad, but by the time it sets up, it soaks up that butter again. 
I don't know why, but it does. So once he's done, he'll tell me to go, go, go. And I'm basically just getting the chocolate ready. It's just chocolate Hershey bars. You could get the uh, dark chocolate. You could do milk chocolate um, or semi-sweet. We prefer to do the milk chocolate. And this one's not the perfect, but you get the point. And starting to form. And you don't want any spots that are wide open with aluminum foil underneath it. So, so unlike the Dixie Chicks, you do not want wide open spaces. And if the butter does gross you out, you can dab some of it away if you are. I think you put too much water in it. No, one quarter of it. Hmm. There we go. And then when he tells, I, I'm ready to go, Sean. Ready to go. All right, I think you can go ahead and pop it on there. Okay, so I take this. And we let this sit for a little bit, and then Sean will take his fancy word word offset. Offset spatch. Offset spatch. And he'll start uh, moving stuff around. And then while he's doing that, instead of reading the comments. I'm just letting it yeah. Making sure we didn't miss any Because he's obsessed with that. I'm going to get another piece of aluminum foil because you have to flip it. Yep. So he does this, and I actually just do this. Yeah, the, the first one's hotter because this stuff is so hot. It's really hot. This will burn you. Just yeah. like Paris Hilton would say, it's that hot. It's that hot. Holy mama jamma. Nope. I'm waiting for you to, because you don't want to have too much because... I'm going to let this keep on melting and spread it, spread it around. So what's funny is this side's so hot and it melts so quick, but by the time you flip it, it cools to the point where you really have to work the chocolate. So before you flip it, though, you do have to add a little bit more almond milk on the top. Yeah. Yeah, probably two more and we're good there. I'm ready, you let me know when. Is this one done nothing or we can go? Okay. And I am not stingy on my almonds. So I actually buy extra almonds because I want to make sure you get a good coverage of almond because, hello, it's called almond roca, right? Mm -hmm. So probably, and since this is Sean's ultimate favorite, he'll make sure it looks good. Then you take this and you literally place it right on top. Literally sit on top and kind of. Just the other brand. I uh, know this is their same cut brand. So you go like that. And then we're going to need to find a place to flip it. <laughs> well, I need, your other... I need it flat. Oh, I see what you're saying. You can pull that out and just flip it upside down and just lay it right on top. Okay. okay, this is hot, so be very careful when you do this. There's a lot better still in there too. It's going to drain. Okay. It's too hot. I can use a pot holder. Then you just take that layer off and we start putting chocolate on it. Split off a little bit. That's all right. We miss our old cookie sheets. We had really good, my mom had really good cookie sheets. Um, that would were perfect for the flipping part. You do have to flip it. Um, I have seen now people uh, make almond roca with. I don't get it. I need to watch it, but they make it with soda crackers. I've never, 
I've heard about it, but never done it. Oh, it's all, you'll start seeing it here in the next few days on Facebook. People will share it. And they make it with soda crackers and, of course, chocolate. Catch up on some questions if there's any. Oh, okay. We haven't, sorry, I haven't seen the questions yet. <laughs> So just to let everyone know, the notification is not working for anyone tonight for some reason. Um, let me see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, thank you for saying that. Someone said my mom would be proud of us. It does look so yummy. Uh, this is, is this a two person treat or a two person job? Um, you don't need two people to make it, but uh, we both like it. It speeds up the process. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And no one's YouTube notifications are working, so I don't know what's up there. So, um, I got that. Cracker candy. That's what it's called. Cracker candy. We got a package. What? Got a package? Yeah. From? Amazon. To? Me. Oh. Did you guys know? I'll give you guys uh, a little secret. So a lot of people don't know on your Amazon Prime account, you can set up other accounts. So this way during Christmas, like Sean doesn't want to order on Amazon usually because I would get the email that says, you know, basically something's being sent to me, but you can actually go in and set up other users and that way they get the email saying, you know, so like all of Sean's gifts, he gets the email, not me. So he can actually buy using our Amazon account, but not worry about me knowing exactly what it is. May I have a spot in the freezer with this? Uh, yeah, I've, I've cleaned out everything. So all you're going to do now, now that we're done with that, you're going to take your tin foil that you already slid off. We're going to set that back on, and mm. I'm going to take it out to the freezer. Off to the freezer, so let it sit. And that dark color, when it sits in the freezer, then turns to a kind of a creamy white, creamy tan beige look, but that's totally not, totally normal. Yes, looks so good, because it is so good. That, my friends, is exactly how we make Amon Roca. Now we're going to do this 12 more times. <laughs> so that's all. That's all we're going to do now. I'm not sure if we are going to do another one tonight. I think we are. I didn't hear what Kenny said. Any questions on what I've done? If you want to understand what I did, please ask and I'll explain what I did. And then we'll just get this next one ready. Deb wants to start tomorrow. Is that your baking, Deb? All right. I think as soon as Kenny comes out, comes back in, we'll find out what uh, we're doing next. I'm going to clean out my pot here because I'm going to have a nice clean pot. We're going to do those Oreo truffles. Yeah, those turned out really good. Oh no, Gillian's got the flu. Oh no. Hope you get over it quick. What are you doing? Are you getting the next ready? I got to get the next one ready. This is just a repeat over and over. It's literally a repeat over and over 13 times. Or so. Or so. So, yeah, it's by far. Um, so, the almond orca, it's kind of weird for me because, like I said, it's not my favorite. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not my favorite. And uh, the first time Sean came over, so we met in 1999, and he did come over the first Christmas. That's how clingy he was. <laughs> we met in November, and he thought he should invite himself to Christmas. You invited me. Um, and he tried my mom's almond roca, and literally was gushing over it. Said, you made this? She, he goes, you made this? And she's like, yeah. And ever since then, he was hooked. And I thought it was just him, but every single person I give this almond roca to... Um, everyone loves it. It's by far, everyone wants Almond Roca. Yes, yes, yes. They love it. So if it sets up soon enough, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Because it's weird. It, it changes color. It goes from that yellowy to a, almost a white-ish. Well, the same color as almonds, I guess. Really. Um, I don't do the, um... 
the, the coconut condensed milk treats, I think those are called seven layer bars or magic cookie bars. I do, uh, the next thing we're gonna be making tonight is the coconut date balls. So we'll probably be making that here at about 7.30ish. Um, we're just gonna do so many of these then. We're gonna do so many and then Sean literally can make this in his sleep. Yes, I can. All Don't right. get cocky about it. I'm not. He's a little cocky about it. Right. So, that's it. What did you guys think? Uh, the macaroons, or mac macaroons? Coconut macaroons. macaroons are tomorrow, and the peanut butter balls are tomorrow. Like I said, for those of you joining joined late, so Sean, uh, today when I got home, he was like, uh, so are we doing this live thing, like, for every little item we make? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, He's getting stressed because it's getting down to crunch time. But we have these two to do tonight, two tomorrow, and then we're done. But Sean's going to make his hot butter rum mix. Well, it's your, it's your aunties. Well, it's but, my aunties, but... But it's basically the same thing. Um, so I don't sliver the albums. I no, actually... Sliver is a type. Yeah, I know, but I don't... We buy just regular almonds, and then I actually just do this. Slap. We, get, we buy slap. Slice. Because you do want them, you don't want the big almond, at least I don't. A lot of people don't like that because the problem is, is if you have these big almonds, um, when you break the, because all I do to break the, the almond roca is I just break it with my hands. The almonds will break off, so you want little pieces of it. No need to place an order, make it yourself. It's that easy. That was kind of rude. Oh. Maybe I want to launch my own baking business and be yeah. Ken's creation. Ken's baking creations. No. Ken's Ken's baked create. No. That just sounds like I'm high. <laughs> Ken's creations. Sean's bakery. I don't know what I call it, but yeah. So uh, the reason we are just really good at this is we've literally made it now for 18 years. Well... Maybe more like 15, that. probably. Because she died in 2004, and we made it the yeah. year before. So that would have been 2003. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 15 years we've made this. So um, if you're not going to give it away, one batch is more than enough. Um, I will be live tomorrow. So we will be live in about another hour or so to do the coconut date balls. Um, and then tomorrow, it's usually right at 6. So tomorrow, we'll probably start with the peanut butter balls. And then we'll make the coconut mac macaroons or macarons or... Yeah, macarons. I don't know how to say that one. Macarons the only reason I really make that one is it's one of my dad's favorites. Um, he loves the coconut because you make the little mounds. They're almost like an almond uh, joy without the nuts. They have that. Well, I guess they have the nuts, but it's they don't have almond. But it's like got the coconut yeah, and that... Yeah. And then they dip, we dip it in dark chocolate on the top. And then we, we buy, um, the nice thing about our Fred Meyers is they have a huge bulk section. So we buy all of our nuts in bulk, which is a lot cheaper. Macadamians. And those are the macadamia nuts. Yes, Kenny's dad is alive. Yes, my dad is still alive. And, and so is mine, and he's kind of crazy. <laughs> Don't listen to him, you guys. You're mean, Sean. Yeah. You only have one set of parents, and yours is a little cuckoo choo. Cuckoo choo. A little. So is his mom. Don't worry, he doesn't mother. watch. <laughs> Nobody watches mom us. Watches I don't know if any of our family watch. Mom watches now, or knows how to watch. Knows how to watch. All right, guys. So, um, for those of you, since I don't know why alerts aren't working, uh, we'll be back probably 7.30ish. Um... We're going to get through as many almond roca we can before we start that that process. And then um, we'll show you how to make. Tonight will be coconut date balls, which is uh, unique. my cousin's favorite. Sean doesn't like them. I like them. You don't like them. Yeah, I do. You never eat them. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. When do you eat them? Whenever I feel like having one. Which is never. Which is once in a while. It's never. He never eats them. I've seen your niece on here before. You have? Which one, Angela? <laughs> Which niece is on here? She's Andy? on Facebook. Andy? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe Habies. Yeah. Ugh, rude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Making the mess. I'm not making a mess. Oh, well. Yeah. Sean, I just told everyone to not leave this. And now you've left it. What if it burns? It's not even boiling. Sean, ugh. It has to boil. If you burn my almond roca. Nope. I swear to God. Oh, oh Sean's moving on from us now. I'm just going down here. See, now it's boiling. Now it's boiling. You be so kind? What do dates taste like? Dates taste what like. Dates taste like? Tastes like dates. Um, kind of a mix between a fig and a raisin, I guess. Yeah, kind of figgyish. And then, <laughs> kind of figgyish. Figgyish. I don't think that's on board. Um, they are really good. I when I was a kid, I didn't think I was gonna like dates, but that was because my mom made these other cookies. See, she made a lot of stuff, and some of the stuff I didn't like. She made these things called date-filled cookies. Blech. So she took two pieces of they weren't even sugar cookie it was more like a little dough and she'd make a like a little pouch and she made this stuff it had dates in it and i think like raisins i don't know it was gross Not for you, huh? and it had nuts and then she'd put another little pouch on it and then you'd push it all the way to the round side there and they were called date filled cookies and oh we got the famous turkish dates or other kind of dates but uh it it's was, a very, it's a very Carmen, it run. was like a lot of like raisins and, oh, I hated them. My dad loved them, but they were gross. The cook, the main cookies I liked of hers, I wasn't a big sugar cookie because back in that day, like back when I was a kid, the sugar cookies were like hard and you would just, I, they, I just, they didn't, she just put sprinkles on them and I'm all about the frosting. But she made spritz cookies, which if you don't know what a spritz cookie is, um, it's basically like a sugar dough, but then she added jello into it so a package of lime jello or raspberry jello and then she pushed it through this thing that would go different dyes for the different and then when you were out of the dough you go and then you knew you're out of the dough i helped her make those when i was a kid and we were so poor when it broke instead of buying a new one we just taped the casing shut but anyways, and then we'd sprinkle them. And those were good because they had, uh, like, the raspberry had, kind of, I mean, it's jello, so it was raspberry, but it had, like, a really, like, raspberry-ish, I don't know how to describe jello taste, but I don't know. So I loved the spritz cookies. And then uh, she made sugar cookies. The one thing that she made that my brother has been trying to mimic, but we can't find the recipe, is something called Christmas tree bread which essentially was just kind of like a cinnamon roll shaped in a Christmas tree. And then it had just like a Sweet orange dough. kind of glaze on it, I think. That was colored green. Sweet dough. Yeah, and you can kind of make it by just buying cinnamon roll. And I think Beth Kingston actually just posted that to her Facebook page where she made a, tr a tree and then frosting it. And frosting it? Frosting it? Frosted it. Frosting. Frosted, frosted it. Frosted. Um, but he wants to make the one my mom made, but we can't find the recipe. I like the Russian tea cookies. Oh, my mom made those too. Oh, I love those. I didn't like those either. I love they were dry. Oh. And they had little almonds in them. And they were okay, but they were in powdered sugar. You want to know what I would do with those? This is so bad. Mm -hmm. So she loved those. And she would make them in red, green, and white. And they were then put in powdered sugar. And I would just suck the powdered sugar off and throw the cookie away. Oh, my God. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot about the Russian tea cookies. What else did she make that I forgot about? I don't know. I don't, I don't know all what she made. My grandmother used to make, um, like I was telling you yesterday, the um, rosette cookies. What are those? Those were you. Used are those the ones that you did? You fry in oil? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like those. Oh, I love those. But I think my mom made those too, and we weren't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. And then you would put them in powdered sugar. Yep. Yep, she did make those. My grandma would make something like that, but with dates, okay. raisins, and orange that soak in whiskey and rum for... Ooh, ooh, that's what she did. Angela, that's what it is. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know if she did whiskey or rum. Maybe she did rum, but that's what the sauce was. I, maybe it was rum because it was... Yeah, you're right. So that's what she did. Dates, raisins, nuts, and orange zest, then soak them in. Yep, that's it. Ooh. Um. Hard candy, cinnamon, anise. Ooh, <gasps> anise, anise. Ooh I love hard candy. Um, so, 
uh, it's kind of cool to see everyone's traditions because, like, Omen Ruka is for sure one of our big traditions, and people, I guess, don't oh, normally you, do that, but... Um, certain people have certain traditions that their grandmother made or like we never had divinity. I didn't even know what divinity was Not a fan. until someone gave it to me and it wasn't bad. It's basically nugget, right? Isn't that all divinity is kind of, mm. right? Uh, kind of. But yeah. And then, um, I don't care for it. Yeah. And then, uh, I think a big one always had was the magic bars. Uh, the things I added after the fact was I added the peanut butter balls I added the Santa Surprise cookies. What else did we add? Oh, and we or we added the Oreo truffles. So those are things. My mom also made fudge, but I'm not a big fudge person. It's all right, but it's not my favorite, yeah. and it's kind of hard to make. I didn't realize fudge how hard fudge was to make. Yeah, I'm not a fudge, big fudge fan. Either. Like every time I make fudge, it dried out. What are buttermilk sugar cookies? I need those. <laughs> oh, oh you, I want some hard candy now and powdered sugar. I love powdered sugar. Can you get the... Um, it's my favorite. Can you get the aluminum uh, foil already, please? Why do we have powdered sugar? What do we make with powdered... Oh, our... Uh, our uh, peanut butter balls. Peanut butter balls we make with powdered sugar. Yeah. Over, overlooked, I'm assuming you're saying overcooked. What do I look for when I'm doing this? I'm looking for just a specific color. They they say a brown paper bag color. They don't say that. My mom, mom said, said that. that. But same thing. I, I, I don't really need to have a paper bag mix. I know what they look like. He goes by smell. A little I bit of a smell. And there was one time I cooked it a little too long by accident. But still, they tasted good. It's just a little more... More of a richer, nuttier flavor. This is just Why is liquid not the same as dry? I've never understood that. There's One cup dry is three-fourths cup liquid. That makes no sense. That's because they're different. They're not different. One cup should be one cup. Nope. Why is that different? Volume. What? It's starting to turn brown. You sound racist. I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Why is one cup dry not the same as one cup wet? You have to remember there's air and space all within there. <laughs> the liquid is completely... Oh my gosh, you're, there's air and space out there. there. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, um, almost done with this one. Liquid weighs more than dry. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, liquid always weighs more than dry. Unless the the mass of the dry is... I think you're just repeating what other people are saying. I don't think you know. Mm. Do you? You have almond roca on your head. Right? Yeah. I'm going to go see if this almond roca is done so I can show them. So we're slowly getting to that point in color right now. It's a little too light. Oh, it's getting there. Mmm, there she is. I'm in Roca. Oh, that is so good. That's perfect. Mm. Good job, Sean. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Carmen. Mm. Her mom was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, so sorry. I will say I'm kind of blessed. I mean, it, it was hard losing my mom. I'm not going to lie, but she, um, I'm sure she had cancer longer, but we only knew of the cancer for really in our world about a month and a half, two months. And it was the hardest two months to see someone go through that. So my sympathy always goes out. It's weird. You always hear the word cancer, but you don't really know what it is until you find, you know, you, you have a loved one that gets diagnosed with it. And then it takes on a whole new meaning. Cancer is always hard, but once you have someone in your family that, actually it, you know is diagnosed with it it's it's horrible very very close i'm getting the chocolate ready mccoy all right 
Your almonds are ready. Thank you. See, I think that's ready. That looks like it's right at the color I want. Turn the power off. Dump in the almonds. Stir the almonds in. Then we'll spread her out. Then I'll take my offset spatula. <laughs> You're so funny. My offset spatula. Let's go. I would have just called it the little spatula. If you spread it around. See, this one did a lot better. Yeah, it did a lot better. Yeah. I think we added too much almonds in the last one. Because I did a I did a cup liquid, which is more like a cup and a fourth. Not as much. Yeah, there's barely any butter on this. So this one turned out like perfect. Good job, Sean! This must be a leaning too, because it's leaning over. What do you mean it's leaning it's, over? It wants to go this way. Let it be its own, let it be whatever almond orca it wants to let be. It be. No, <laughs> that's let it go. Let it go, <laughs> Let, let it, it be. There's that other sign that's let it be, let it be. Is that it? Let it be, let no. Yeah, right? That's yeah. a Beatles song. I think that's Beatles, right? It is. I'm not a big Beatles fan. I know. I don't see why they were so epic, but that's just me. That's just me. I'm going to square it off as much as I can without it. Sean, you're such a square. I'm really liking this uh, aluminum foil. It's you're good. liking it? I'm liking it. You liking it? Yeah. You want to marry it? Yeah. <laughs> Good, because you haven't married me yet, so I'd, put, I'd be pissed if you married that. Your chocolate's ready, Sean. All right, it's ready. Okay. Wait a minute, let me get this whole. Okay, on to the next. Oop. Oh, that smells so good. This is a perfect batch. Perfect batch. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect batch. It's very hard to do this when it's still liquefied. It's <laughs> like you're playing with... I know. Stop. <laughs> Stop doing it then. It looks so dirty. <laughs> why am I moving it around? Correct. He shouldn't be moving it around. I don't know why he does this. I always say... No, I think she says, why am I moving this around? Yes, if you don't, you, don't. you need it to get it to spread out. So it's oh, a, that. A the chocolate, I just let it do its thing. I let it melt and then... Stop. Would you let it melt? I did. This, the, the top one's done. Stop it. Stop. Get. I'm going to take your offset spatula away from you. <laughs> just give it a second to melt. It is. No. This is melted. See? Oh, but I need, don't. To, I need to spread it, though, once it's melted. Correct, but that one's not melted yet. I'm not going there. What do you mean you're not going there? There you go. Now you can spread it. Sean does not know what he's doing. No, sure not. Oh, Kim, good luck. I want to know how it turns out. Who? Kim. She's going to make this tomorrow. So you can see how easy it is, Kim. This is about the, one of the easiest. Well, it is easy, but it's a little intimidating at first because you don't know when to is pull it, it. Is it dark enough? Yeah, it is. What do you mean, yeah, it is? You are so condescending sometimes. Yeah. Ready for almonds? Okay, let's do it. Almond time. Stop! Almond time. Almond time. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh, I don't have another piece of aluminum foil ready to go, so... Yeah. How about you put a little pep in your step, McCoy? Okay, because yeah. I'm almost done. Right. No, we need it to melt on the other side, too. Yeah, 
Oh. I'm just going to put more almonds. We're going to run out of almonds if you don't hurry. Yeah. Put a little pep in your step. Dull side. Yep, dull side is the non-stick side. Okay. And then we're going to do the whoopsie whoopsie flippy whippy. Whee Good job, Good Sean. Hot. Beware, it is hot when you do that flip. If you, it's too hot for you, then just... Uh, what is that? Did you get a piece of a that's, that's carrot? The, no, that's the skin of the almond. Oh. Looks like a, a <laughs> it looks like a little bit of uh, carrots in there. Nope. Skin of the almond. A little carrot. So, cautionary, it is hot when you flip. If you have a, an oven or an oven mitt style, that works really good. Or just kind of slide it with maybe a towel. Flip it. Don't let it intimidate you. And reverse it. Is your flipper whipper and wet yet? <laughs> is your flipper so whipper wet yet? That's the only thing I have to say about that. It is it is oh, hot. Do you remember that commercial? Because, yep. Is your flipper whipper wet yet? Is your flipper whipper wet yet? That was the Swifter wet jet. Well, Kim, you should have fun. And do you remember the Swifter wet jet? Stop eating the almonds. I love almonds, though. I know, but it, they love to be on Almond Roca more. I know. Yeah, you can't eat one piece of this stuff. It is. I can. It's just so hard. <laughs> I can eat one piece and be done. No, not me. I want. I want you know to go out there I and get another piece. You know what? I was eating tonight, but I'm still thinking Jimmy John's. You know. Okay, well we not Qdoba. That's fine. I don't care. Qdoba. Nice text mix. Text mix. No, I'll just go get it. Well, then who's gonna make almond roca? Then you go get it. I don't go get things. You can. What? Ken is lying. Are you I'm lying? lying? Oh. I don't know. No, I ain't lying. Oh, there she goes. Look at she's melting. Sean, where's your offset? Yeah, right here. One offset. Um, Use offsets when you're doing it. Grandma kick, got ran over frosting. by a reindeer. Womp womp. Walking home from a... Do you think that was inspired so. by reality? Like, what inspired that song? Like, do you think they were just sitting there thinking, I hope my grandma's dead and we're going to write the song? Or do you think they actually got ran over by a reindeer? I don't know. I mean, there are real reindeers. But oh, did you just say that? Yes. You think that I... <laughs> oh, my gosh! <laughs> you know, Ken, there is real reindeers in the world. Oh my god, you cracked me up. And then we put a little bit more nuts on it. Hold on. Stop! I'm trying to get the chocolate Just stop! Off. Why do you always have to rub the chocolate off? Because it's... Look at all that excess chocolate. Maybe that was the That's way... That's a lot of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate right there. Mmm, dinner. All right. So that is your second batch. You put the aluminum foil back on, and then we take this bad boy out to the freezer. I almost thought you were going to say you put the lime in the coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. Drink it all up. All right, so let's get back up to the top here so you guys can see us before we go, and then I have to go get dinner, or he's going to get dinner. Yes, indeed. Uh, boom. Or not. There we go. Hi. So anyway, there you go. Come on in. There he is. <laughs> Craziness. I'll stand over here. No, I'll stand here and you can stand right there. Come on. Weird. What? What happens when Sean's all by himself? He gets nervous. What do I talk about? What do I do? I have nothing to How do I feel the space? I can't do that. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. So he wants to be on the camera, but only with me, because if not, he gets quite nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Poor Sean. Stop eating those <laughs> almonds. <sighs> Good. I love almonds. He likes to be bossed around. Hmm. Well, so, there we go. So that's, yep, our that's trip, Almond Roca. That's, that's Almond Roca. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, let us know if you make it uh, this this uh, Christmas uh, And we'll holiday. be back in about a half hour, maybe an hour. I don't know how long our Kudoba will get here, but to make coconut deep balls. There you go. Bye, everybody. Wait, Bye. I, can't, I can't say goodbye until I move this over and get it out of the way. Yeah.
Home run. You have to hit a special button that says stop. Home run. All right. Bye.